Hey everyone, it's Sauce, and this week, Garage Grown Gear is hosting their annual Small Business Sales Week. It's just in time for summer backpacking and camping. I don't typically do roundups like this, but one, I love that Garage Grown Gear is primarily all small businesses, and two, it gives me an opportunity to turn y'all onto some great deals before backpacking season. I'm only highlighting gear that I own and use in this roundup, but there's tons of great sales, so be sure to check out everything that they've got going on for Small Business Sales Week. This is not sponsored by them, but but I will be using affiliate links in the description, which means that I earn a small commission at no cost to you. So thank you in advance for your support. The first two brands with sales that I'm super stoked about are Bear Vault and Ursac. Food storage is just one of those things that I'm never excited to spend money on, but it's an essential piece of gear and really handy to have around. So I'm extra appreciative when these items go on sale. From Bear Vault, I personally have the BV500. I've had it since I hiked the PZT and I've taken it on many trips since. There are several wilderness areas that do require hard-sided bear canisters and this meets those requirements. It's nice to always have one around so that you're not limited to where you can back pack by whether or not you have a bear canister. Even if a hard-sided canister isn't required, the bear vault is great to have in places where you're gonna want protection for your food, like maybe in grizzly country or in areas where you know there's been a lot of bear activity. It also protects very well against little bears like mice and other rodents, which can run rampant in almost any popular area because they get used to picking up people's scraps and they will get into your food bags and your trash. Another awesome piece of food storage gear that I own is the Ursac. I put off buying one of these for ages because I already had a bear can, but I am so glad that I finally made this purchase. Trips when a hard sided can isn't required, I love having an Ursac to still protect my food and give me peace of mind overnight. I bring this on almost every trip now to guard against mice, ravens, you name it. It's lighter than carrying a bear can, but it still protects bears from your food and vice versa. Just make sure that if you are bringing an Ursac that you are hanging it properly. Having the bag is not a substitute for leaving your food out on the ground overnight. As some of you may know, I am training for my first 50K and as I get into longer and longer runs, I'm in need of some good solutions for hydration because I can't just drink enough water before I leave. I have to drink while I'm running as well. And I'm specifically looking for solutions that work with a running vest. Canuck has a running collection that's on sale so you can put like electrolyte mix or just water and they fit in the pockets of most running vests. Last summer I got my first ever catabatic quilt and I don't think I'll be going back anytime soon. I have a Sawatch 15 degree, which as a quilt sleeper has served me very well on all types of trips. If you would like a more in-depth review, I'll link the video where I go over that quilt specifically. Um, but I also have their Tarn down jacket, which is a great mid-weight puffy for backpacking. And those are on sale this week as well. I have a confession. For years, I was a drip dryer. I tried to tell myself and everyone else that this was an effective method for dealing with pee in the backcountry, and I did use plant matter from time to time, but overall, I realized I really just didn't feel clean, and I then started to use bits of the baby wipes that I bring with me, which resulted in me packing out a ton more toilet paper, and overall, it just like wasn't really working for me, and I was over it. I was getting annoyed, so I finally purchased a Kula cloth and I am so happy that I did. I used mine for the trip that I just went on in Candylands and I am completely sold. I will be carrying a pea cloth from now on on every trip I take. I also love that they have so many different designs to choose from so you can really show off your style with your hanging your pea cloth from your backpack. And those are 15 to 20% off this week. I first heard of Rology during my PCT research and I've had a cork ball in my pack on and off ever since. After my foot sprain earlier this year, I imagine rolling out my feet will be a pretty routine part of my backpacking trips and their small business sale this week allows you to buy one get one free. You can keep one in your pack and one at home for after workouts and stuff. Next is Sam Bob. As next is Sam Bob. I am obsessed with my gifted Sam Bob fleece. Um, it's comfy and cozy and it fits really well. I got a narrow medium with an oversized hood for reference and I also picked my own colors. I love microgrid fleece in general as a mid layer for backpacking. I think it's great for when it's a little bit windy. You can throw a rain jacket over it and it's a great insulator. It's also really nice for just feeling cozy 
around camp. I barely took my sand bob off for the two weeks that I was in Utah. I slept in it, I hung out at camp in it, and I hid from the desert wind in it. I love that you can customize the colors on these and get a really cool fleece while supporting a small business. Sand bobs are 10% off this week. I am a huge fan of Territory Run Co hats. As someone with a big awkward head that can't find many hats that fit me well, it's a big deal when I can, and I really love the style of these ones. Josh wore one of these for the entire CDT, which is actually what turned me on to them. And that's also why they get my vote of confidence for durability since he still wears his to the gym. And I gifted him a fresh one for our anniversary last year and that's his like nice workout hat. <laughs> this is the sale I'll definitely be shopping myself to stock up on hats for my ultra training. And Territory Run Co is offering 20% off all of their products on Garage Grown Gear. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this gear and I hope you save some money for backpacking this season. Remember that the gear that you already have that keeps you safe is always going to be the best gear. Definitely don't go out and shop a sale just because it's a sale. Um, but if there's stuff that you've been needing and you've had your eye on, I hope this was helpful.